and it's a Friday. Let's get adjusted here. Let's get let's get our act together, Russ. Oh, that's been a year, well, multi-year project. <laughs> And I'm looks like I'm looks like I'm dropping, so my internet may not be as effective as possible. However, stand by. Let's make sure that we have this this going on. I I really I really wanted to have a conversation with you today because it's important for us to be able to stick together and really rise to the top. We live, you know, the new normal, as they call it, is going to be one of these times that we are going to have to think about and we're going to have to adjust to and everything else, you know. <clears throat> and thank you for being here. I love the fact that you're here. And I just wanted to check in with everybody and see how, see how things are going in your world. I know a lot of people are working at home. A lot of people are working... Uh, remotely, as they say, and the people that haven't been working remotely are going through a learning curve. And a learning curve for some people can always be a little challenging. And some people are not always um, interested in new challenges like this, you know, when it comes to technology. And so I, I just want to, I just want to check in and see how you, you're doing in this in this migration. So, I I, I wanted to uh, put this out there and ask the question and see what's taking place. Uh, Gabriel's here. Morning, P pirates. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Practicing social distancing. Yeah, it's social distancing. Uh, streaming issues always drive me crazy. <clears throat> now, Gabriel, cause and effect. More people are working from home, the more people are going to be on the internet in an, in a residential setting. Uh, they've even asked Netflix to start streaming in SD rather than HD in order to reduce the the uh, capacity issues that are going on in the internet. So that's that's something that we have to be aware of and be patient with. You know, these things are these things uh, it's it's a patience thing at this point in time. It's it's one of those things that you have to be aware of. You have to be considered about and understand that this is going to be this is what's going to be happening. Uh, there's still a lot of activity in the construction industry. <clears throat> There is a lot of activity in the construction industry. And there's going to be a lot of activity in a lot of different industries. And there's a lot of think, uh, and, and Angie says the, uh, a lot of companies are realizing they need a better emergency plan in place. Yeah. So these are topics that are top of mind, uh, <laughs> Angie. You no, know, don't mess with Netflix. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure it will, I'm sure it will, you know, with all things, there's emergencies and then there, then we find balance. You know, I was in Harvey in, you know, and everybody was underwater and it was really tragic. And so many people, so many areas, my nephew was just in, in uh, Tennessee with the tornado there, lost the entire house top of his apartment building you know we're all going through some of these things that are you know out of our control outside of our control and i just really want to make sure that check in with everybody reach out and you know i'm a fan of video i'm, I'm a huge fan of video and i just want to make sure that people understand that i'm promoting this video thing and i'm creating workshops and uh <clears throat> i think you know, there's probably a, an opportunity where I could create a workshop on a Zoom session, you know, how to use Zoom, how to make uh, Zoom uh, work for you. 
I think that would be one area that we could actually find some, uh, you know, provide some assistance to people. What is it that you're challenged by at this point in time? Is there anything specific that you're you're finding? Uh, I, and there's some craziness going on, I know. Uh, <clears throat> I still don't quite understand the toilet paper. I'm just not sure what the connection is. And I know that, I know that um, you know, being in, in the news and having been in advertising and radio and television, it's sometimes the media likes to sizzle more than they like anything else around the facts. And I also know that we're living in a time that is is not anything close to what we're used to seeing in this lifetime. And I just wanted to remember that there are people out there that are much worse than, than we are. So I just want to remind people about that and make sure that we understand that it's okay to have a little bit of anxiety, uh, you know, some understanding and patience. I'm just getting on here LinkedIn Live because, as you know, LinkedIn Live doesn't allow me to bring the comments in. Oh, <clears throat> Angie would love a Zoom webinar. There you go. One of many. So let, let me go in the comments here and see what else is happening on LinkedIn. Um, I've changed my streaming. Oh, Gabriel, you've changed your streaming from uh, 420. says change to 420 just to continue streaming that's uh was it helpful does it help i suspect it's helps chris berryman the restaurant that i work at has put my position on hold because of the coronavirus so many hours are going on time uh and that's unfortunate i know Jim Nixon, morning. How are you today? MD, good morning. Thank you so much for me. Cheryl, good morning. Hey, I uh, I missed you on the workshop. So uh, we'll be following up later today and, and uh, making sure that you have the information that you're looking for. So I appreciate you. My work day hasn't changed since I was already would love to help anyone making that adjustment or having difficulty see look for the helpers people look for the helpers we're all in different circumstances we're all in different places in our life we're all in different modes and I know that there are challenging times that are ahead I know there will be moments where you think in what's going on and <clears throat> the one thing I want to share with you is I've been in those moments I've been to the point where um, you know some very dark days uh, you know I've been in a place where it's like I'm camping for my car and part of it was choice part of it was circumstance I've had I've had things and I've had nothing my point and at the end of the day there's a lot of things that are just it's baggage rather than you know it's, it's stuff and remember what's important remember to make sure that you're staying in contact with your family and friends your community and do outreach and help each other out lift each other up don't isolate and I know that video is is one of the t ways and doing this show is you know i i was doing this show long before coronavirus showed up so don't take my ratings coronavirus <laughs> and i'm not laughing at it i'm laughing at the circumstance where we're 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 all working to figure out yeah yes everything is figure outable everything is figure outable and experience as a whole this many times on the show 
experience is one of those things that can be good or bad. You just have to understand what is the lesson I'm learning today? What is it? What is it the things that what types of information do I need to take away from this? And I and I know that the people that are most uh, adaptable, resilient, and creative are the ones that are going to be coming and shining in this moment. And the things that you can do to, and I think, I think over this time and this period, depending on how long it lasts and and what the end result is, is I think that it's going to be really key to understand how to utilize some of the technology of remote working. Uh, companies are probably going to understand that it doesn't really require us to have all these employees in this building because we can and we can still survive and we can still thrive in a remote work environment. And there's probably going to be some changes and shifts in the market. And I, and I truly believe that. And uh, I've always believed that. Uh, I, I was remote working back in 95. I was traveling and working remotely and I actually had a satellite dish on my place to be able to connect. And I just, for myself, it's, it's the way I live. I, I, it's the way I live now. And for a lot of people, it's completely alien. It's, it's, it's like uncomfortable. It's like, I don't have the place set up at work. I don't have to, I don't have to really do anything like I do at work, I don't have, you know, <clears throat> there's so many things that are, you just have to get your mind around and, and make adjustments. Yeah, I think I, in the coming days, more people are going to have to connect via methods like Zoom. Absolutely, you know, absolutely. Uh, and, and it's really one of those things that we just have to, we have to get past and we have to, lean on people like uh, go to meetings. Uh, Debbie Weems uh, used go to meeting for years and we'll conduct uh, a free 30 minute webinar each week. Our March newsletter has the details. So Debbie Weems, she is a pirate, go support the pirates. And it really has an opportunity to shine on different platforms. Go to meetings is, you know, uh, there's all kinds of platforms out there. I'm a fan of Zoom. Uh, I'm, I'm, I've been on Zoom for a long time. Um, I use it every day. And it's just one of those tools that I'm, I'm familiar with. Um, <clears throat> and here's <clears throat> changing to a lower stream helped with the live stream. 720 was lagging too much, too much pixelation. So, yes, it helps. Thanks for that update, Gabriel. I really appreciate you. Uh, and there's so many people out there that, uh, you know, Debbie, thank you so much for offering that. Uh, you can go to her website, find Debbie on LinkedIn, uh, W-E-M-Y-S-S, -S, Weems. Uh, and you can find it in the comments as well. So, and Sherry Lolly, my IT department, Vicki O'Neill, has to send me link to get into LinkedIn Live. Look for the helpers. Yes, look for the helpers. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Sherry, for being here. And also, um, it's really challenging. Yeah, the Marie Forleo quote is, everything is figure outable. Everything is figure outable. Linda Tilson, you're ready. Me. Oh, that's so kind. Thank you for being a pirate. It's fantastic that you're here. I really appreciate it. Uh, Angie says she had to come to LinkedIn because Twitter is glitchy. So Twitter's having issues, huh? That's interesting. Uh, being on the front line of pe help people through what they have uh being on the front line to help people through is what i have and will continue to do i have seen such creativity and innovation innovative things come 
just this week. Transformation is here. Uh, absolutely, Linda. I mean, a lot of people, and that's why I go back to this this statement of transformation. It's it's and resiliency and creativity and the ability to adapt is is really going to be some skills that people need to really consider and think about because crying about what's happening and uh, being angry about what's happening or depressed about what's happening serves no purpose. It serves no purpose. <clears throat> notice, notice how you're feeling about it. If you have anxious anxiety, depression, things like this, you know, reach out and get some help. It, it really, it matters. Make it matter. Because it's important for us to stick together in these times, and it's going to be challenging. <clears throat> it's it's not, uh, yeah. Pakistan already university lectures are live on Zoom. I think a lot of remote schools training, you know, are going to adopt. Has opened it up for, uh, you know, they're expanding their platform to free to a lot of people right now. As a result of this, this is uh, Mark, uh, Mark Schaefer shared cats, naked bodies. People are falling hilariously at work from home. They're failing hilariously at work. So we're going to, I'm going to have to fed that. Fred Costa, thank you for being here. And also, you know, community is here. So, Join the Facebook group on, join the pirate broadcast group on Facebook. So I, I need to find that link. <clears throat> Let me see if I can find that link and, and get it out here. So you can go join it. Let me see. I should have it memorized, but you know, I just wanted to, I just wanted to share these things with you because it's important for me to stay connected and, and stay in touch with people. You know, I, I've been remote working and I'm here, mom and dad, you know, I, I, I'm concerned about mom and dad, you know, we're in a, in a, in a place where 90% you know, of the population here is retired and over, over 60. In fact, everyone in the house is over 60. <laughs> Truth be told, I ain't gonna lie. So let me let me put this up here in the banner so you can see this. So let me create a banner. I'll just create this quick banner here. All right, I'm gonna scroll across here. Okay, so if you're not connected on the Facebook group, get connected on the Facebook group. You can connect right down here. Here it is coming across. Facebook slash pirate broadcast. Just sign up. If you're a pirate already, there's also a private group. You know, it's 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 one of those things that we're we we can stick together. High tide raises all boats. It's you know, together we're stronger and together we're going to get through this and past it. So I just want to make sure that everybody's available here. Remembering your links, uh yeah. Gabriel's, yeah, and Gabriel's going to be on the pirate broadcast. So people that know Gabriel, and, and I, I appreciate you so much. Uh, oh, yeah, Debbie shared the, the same thing. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that, Debbie. Vicki O'Neill, you're welcome. Um, I like things that are clickable. <laughs> yeah, this is not clickable. This is not clickable. However, in the feed, it looks like they're they're clickable. So if you go back and you look at it, uh, yeah. So the Facebook groups, pirate broadcast, share. Uh, the point is, and the thing that I helping people with video and producing video and producing results for a long time and and I got an upcoming webinar or an upcoming uh, yeah an upcoming webinar 
Um, and I just want to make sure that uh, there's workshops here. I'm, I'm doing workshops. And you can actually register at the next one at uh, Crowdcast. Uh, let me share my screen here. Let me share my screen. Let me see if I can. I haven't had as much coffee as I need this morning, so let me let me see if I can do this and make it make it happen. I'm going to change this brand. Uh, let me turn this off. That. Stop share. Share. Let me share my other screen. See? This is how the sausage is made. There we go. I got to share the right screen. So this is on Crowdcast. This is another video platform that I use all the time um, for webinars and, and conferences. And so it's really a, one of those platforms that we can actually utilize and put out there some webinars to help people get past this, get through this, you know, and it's, it's one of those things that you're using video all the time. I love video. I love the fact that, and, and I started out in podcasting, you know, cause I have a face for radio and I just really love the fact that I can use podcasting. I can use video. I can use other forms of communication. I used to, I used to, I used to post a blog, uh, blog post every week. I did that for years. I don't know where they are. I and mean, there's lots of information, you know, and long form pod, you know, posts out there that are just randomly placed out there on the ethernet. <laughs> and I just, if I could sit down and share a story and pr produce something that can be valuable, I just want to put it out there. And it's, it's really, it's really important that we learn how to adapt. We learn how to uh, move forward with whatever we're doing in life and get creative and be resilient. That's the biggest message I want to share is be resilient, be flexible, you know, be patient. You know, kindness is cool. Smiles are free. That's, and that's, that's the way I, I live my life. And I just want to share that and continue to share that with people because it's absolutely critical that we do this. It's not, it's not a, it's not a joke. It's not a, it's not a marketing effort. It's, it's way I live and, you know, open doors, returning cards, you know, things, compliments, appreciation, patience, extreme patience some days. So, Linda says she's into a host a, a webinar or two. That'd be cool. Got to get into a session. Have a great day, Russ. Thanks for Debbie. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and a fantastic weekend. Uh, the link Russ shared is for the Facebook page. If you want to join the group, use Angie's link. Thank you, Angie. Since I'm not as good at sharing, <laughs> apparently. But the but maintaining a relationship in a community with video. <clears throat> There's some simple things that we can use to do this. The webinar is there. Uh, say it's, it's going to be next Wednesday night. Uh, if you can make it, I'd love to see you there. There's no charge to it. There's no there's no fee or anything like that. So just something I wanted to to provide with you. And then also I'm doing more on the pirate syndicate. You know. The Pirate Broadcast, I've created this whole platform to broadcast shows with the Pirate Syndicate. Now, the Pirate Syndicate is an entire system that we can use to be able to publish and promote and branding. Uh, I got a couple of shows that are coming out, you know, developing your solution, broadcasting your message. This was all created before this whole thing blew up, and it's even more relevant today than it was three weeks ago and i and i i just can't i don't know how to feel about this i i just sharing the value and continuing to share the value is is important to me and and 
getting more people out there and getting the opportunity out there to share this with more people. And I would be, if I didn't share this, <laughs> I had somebody tell me, it's like, it's a sin if you don't share this and you're going to go to hell if you don't share it. So that's one of the things that I just, I really, ah, uh, and it's just, it's just, I'm just passionate about this and people are going to have to learn how to use video. People are going to have to learn how to adapt to their current environments and understand that this could be the new normal. This could be a new uh, representation of what is what the way life is going to be. So I just want to share that and put that out there. So anyway, we got a webinar next Wednesday, and I got some things that are taking place, and, and I just want to include and invite you and support you in anything you're doing. If you want Zoom session training, let me know. We'll put th put that together. Linda Tilson, she's she's made uh, she's made an offer to do some training. I know that Vicky O'Neill would probably do some training. Uh, Debbie Weems, we could probably get some some training out of there. Social Media Examiner uses Crowd Cost too for their weekly show. Yeah, Sai. Uh, Sai is the uh, found it. I was a beta tester for Crowdcast and and I used it years ago. Uh, Vicky, just as a side note there, and uh, met with the guys out in San Francisco and next to next to the uh, the whole downtown tech sector that is in trouble right now. That's shut down completely. The point is, is all of these tools I've been using for years, all of these tools I've been broadcasting, I've been, I used to do remote uh, training sessions and bring people in from all over the world into live networking events. And all of this stuff is, to me, is is part of what I've always been doing. And now it's like we have to teach this. We have to train this. We have to learn this. And all of a sudden, drop of the hat, you know, you're, you're forced to be home. And there's possibility that, you know, it's it's probably going to get worse before it gets better, just like any catastrophe out there, whether it be weather, you know, infrastructure, powers out, you know, things are things are the, in the unknown. And that's why people are, you know, buying toilet paper by the truckloads. I don't still don't understand. Invest in bidet. So. Video is going to be so big. I would love to help with, do some training with newbies starting out, how to begin on a budget. So that's a class we could. That's a that's another class we could teach. I just I just find that it's really, um, it's really important for us to understand what is possible, and what is necessary. Because there's so many things that are going on right now that we don't know about. And the one thing I do know and I'm passionate about is learn how to use video communications, stay in touch with your community, stay in contact with your people, understand that you don't have to isolate, you don't have to you know, shut down. You have the opportunity to help others around you, even if you can't be in the same place with them. You know, travel's gonna, travel's gonna be reduced or potentially eliminated. And I don't want to go into doom and gloom. I, I just want to make sure that we understand that as flexibility, ability to adapt, the opportunity to get creative, because there's opportunities surrounding us, even in the worst circumstances. You can be a helper. Be Look for the helpers, like Mr. Rogers used to say. When you see something scary, look for the helpers. And we're in a scary time right now. So look for the helpers. Set the example to be a helper. And I just want to share this with you on a Friday and let you know that I'm here. I would love to have you share this. You know, subscribe to the channels. Do all the social things to get this word out because it's important to me. And it's important to you because you're here. So I... 
I love what I'm doing. I'm passionate. I will continue to do what I do. And I just want to make sure that everybody understands that you matter. You make a difference. You have a gift. You have a message. You can share this. And together we can get through this. This is this is not over. So this is a war. This is, you know, it it knows no boundaries, it knows no limits. So let's get on the Facebook page. Let's uh oh here, the group. Get on the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group. Let's start a communication. Let's start a conversation in different platforms. Let's share this around as many places as we can. Broadcast this platform. Share it out. Make comments. Connect with each other. You know, I've, we've got almost 120 shows, and I'm almost booked up through April. I'm going to be booked up through April here shortly. So that's a lot of people that have been able to connect and communicate here. And if we expand this network and the kindness and the generosity and the, the gratitude that people have, we can do this and, and at least stick together on this. All right. I'm going to go. I want, I wish you the very best in your day. Have a wonderful weekend. I know that, you know, you know what I say? Kindness is smiles are free. And you enjoy your day. Love you all.